we decided to run one and the same video on the IPS LCD and Super AMOLED outside under direct sunlight here at Von Arena and we threw in a Nokia N8 with a regular AMOLED screen. As you can see, the IPS LCD is brighter but um, the colors seem more washed out while the Super AMOLED's colors are very saturated and the contrast is high. The regular AMOLED fares worse due to its high reflectance. Inside, though, where there's not much ambient light, the Super AMOLED screen shows its potential when playing video. The colors, again, are more saturated than the IPS LCD, that's from 90 degree angle, and the contrast is higher. The IPS LCD has a yellowish tint that's from 45 degree angle. The IPS LCD of course loses more brightness and more color gamut than the Super AMOLED due to the nature of the technologies. One clear advantage of the Super AMOLED is when showing dark backgrounds as you can see, the black of the IPS LCD is a bit grayish compared to the Super AMOLED. That's due to the fact that it has backlighting that's constantly on, even when showing black colors. While in the Super AMOLED, the pixel is totally off. Therefore, we can definitely conclude that the Super AMOLED has the upper hand when playing video. That was a screen comparison of the IPS LCD as found on the Apple iPhone 4 and the Super AMOLED of the Samsung Galaxy S from Phone Arena.